So Nintendo has finally given us a trailer of their Super Mario Bros. movie, which is set to come out in the spring of April 7th, 2023, I believe. It features Chris Pratt playing Mario and Jack Black playing Bowser. This is a co-op film between Nintendo and Illumination Studio. If you are not familiar with Illumination, they are the people who make the minions. My first initial thought when I heard about this and I heard about Chris Pratt playing Mario I'm gonna be honest, I was not, <laughs> I was immediately pissed off by this. I guess my biggest concern is just how he is doing the voice. So when I first watched this trailer and I heard his voice, I kind of just felt like I was watching Star-Lord in the Mushroom Kingdom. It was kind of weird for me. As a voice actor, when they give you a role, you usually look at just a quick, sometimes they'll tell you what the role is. Hey, you're gonna play a, an Australian explorer and you're going through the woods. And this kind of helps for you to be able to create a voice that you think this character will have. With Chris Pratt and usually any big time actor that they get or actress, they tend to just use their voice. They don't really jazz up their voice in any way and they don't lend their voice to any different kinds of levels as normal voice actors do. Now it's fine if you wanna go ahead and say, hey, I like this person's voice and I wanna use it, as in James Earl Jones, his voice is pretty great for anything. <laughs> and usually he doesn't have to make a different voice for something. His voice itself sounds like it came straight out of a fantasy land. But for most actors and actresses, they just end up lending their own voice. And with this, I just don't feel like this was the smart way to go. Mario is an Italian plumber, and yet we're just getting Star-Lord. That's all we're getting. We're getting Chris Pratt and his glory. We're not getting an Italian plumber. There's an interview with the voice of Mario, Charles Martinet, hopefully I said his name right. Uh, and he's talking about the first time he ever went into the booth to audition for Mario. And he says that when he got it, they had told him, like flat out the paper said it was an Italian plumber. <laughs> And that's how he based this iconic voice off of. Jack Black, however, as Bowser, I have to say, I am pretty okay with that concept. When I saw him and I saw Bowser and I kind of saw him using his voice and things like that, it was good. <laughs> it was good up until the moment where he's like, and no one's gonna stop me. And all of a sudden he just sounded like a dad that was playing action figures with his kids, <laughs> which, not a bad thing. <laughs> I actually really like Jack Black. I have a lot of respect for him because I really do feel like he is a fan of all of the projects that he does. I know he immerses himself in anime and things like that and he's a really cool guy. So I'm totally okay with him taking on this role and I think that he's going to do a very good job. So I'm not, <laughs> that was the one thing that I noticed that it just sounded a little daddish to me and I, and I want him to be a little bit deeper and a little rougher and I'm hoping maybe at some maybe that's what we'll hear but this kind of it sounded good and then it sounded a little too light for me so I don't know we'll see as far as the how the overall movie looks so far it looks gorgeous the Mushroom Kingdom looks beautiful vibrant and bright we see a little bit of Toad um, which was interesting to see as well he was talking a little too fast so it was I kind of hard to comprehend what he was saying and then comprehending the voice with him we also get a chance to see Luigi, and of course, as usual, he's in danger. <laughs> we'll probably need Mario to save him, so uh, that's that's gonna be fun to see too, I think. So overall, I'm super excited for this film. I hope that we get another trailer, hopefully before uh, it releases. I'm pretty sure they'll give us another trailer, but I hope it's not one of those trailers where they show us like the entire fucking movie, because th they gotta stop doing that, that's not cute. I was looking up some information and the Nintendo, this is the actual Nintendo website. They have like a whole section dedicated to Mario, right? Who knew? When you look up the character, they have their own little cute little sections and boxes. I'm gonna read you Mario's life, basically. Like a little paragraph of what his, des the description of his character is. Not the whole thing, just the part that I thought was interesting. He's a trusted friend of, friend. He's a trusted friend of Princess Peach. And he and his brother Luigi are known across the land for their acts of bravery. We go to Princess Peach and the last sentence below on Princess Peach says, Princess Peach and Mario are good friends and help each other out whenever they can. Did they just friend zone Mario? 
How long has he been friend zoned? Does he know he's friend zoned? Have we been like shipping them this entire time and this was never a thing and we thought it was a thing? Is this like the Mandela effect? I'm really hurt about this. This is on the actual website. This isn't, <laughs> this isn't like Wikipedia or somebody was like, no, they're friends. This is, this is actual Nintendo telling us now nah, they're just good buddies. All this romance and chemistry we thought they had is like non, it's, it's in our heads. I feel like my whole life was a lie. But okay, anyways, moving on. Another thing that I thought was interesting was when they were when they were doing the interviews for Chris Pratt and Jack Black and they're talking about their characters. I'm totally convinced that Jack Black is one of us, like a super gamer, hardcore. He's into it, right? Chris Pratt, on the other hand, the way his eyes were kind of looking up to Jesus for the answers was a little bit questionable, but I think we're gonna let it go and just kind of give him the benefit of the doubt. But those eyes, those eyes were shifty. Am I the only person? It's kind of shifty. Thank you guys so much for watching the first impressions and I will see you on the next one. Bye.